And if it's that? Or maybe do you want me to... No, well, it's just tell me what to do. What is it? hold it as far as... Oh, okay. It's okay. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> is it recording? Yes. Hey there, it's Travel by Numbers. I'm Sean. And we're going to be spending 12 days in beautiful Funchal. It's not Funchal. It's Funchal. <laughs> okay, take two. Hey, I'm Sean. And welcome to Travel by Numbers. We're in the city of Funchal. It's just... It's, it's, I have no idea where, where the city or... See? I am Kevin and I'm in beautiful Madeira Island, Portugal, about 200 miles off the coast of Morocco. This is Travel by Numbers. They say that Madeira is the island of eternal spring. And as we look out over the harbor from the terrace of our guest house, no truer words were ever spoken. It was morning, of course, and we headed out down the cobblestone streets, lined with buildings, sometimes abandoned for 50 years or more. The history was not lost on me. People have inhabited this island for almost 600 years. We were heading to La Vie, a popular indoor mall right in the center of everything. Sean was going to try and review an authentic Portuguese tart at Open Boutiques, a chain of cafes I had frequented a couple of years ago. So what do you think of that? Well, it's okay. Lots of custard. Um, very dense. Flaky. Um, very, very fresh. It's, not, it's, it's cold, it's not warm. It's like a creme brulee. Really, that's what that is. It's just a creme brulee tart. Um, it doesn't taste burnt at all, it's just sweet. Strong hint of vanilla. Very good. Today we would explore the tree-lined streets and pedestrian concourses, walk along the harbour, check out the Cristiano Ronaldo statue. He was born here in Funchal. We'd visit the design centre, the cruise ship docks, the pier and the town square. 1.4 million tourists visit Madeira annually, almost five times its population. Visitors are mainly from the European Union, with German, British, Scandinavian and Portuguese tourists providing the main contingents. The Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport is the third most dangerous European airport in which to land. So Madeira Island was first discovered in 1419, quickly turned into a port, selling things like sugar, wine, and coal. Uh, we're going to see the building behind me known as Fort Sal Jose, or Fort St. Joseph. Uh, this was used as a headquarters for invading armies, including uh, those of the British. Well, unfortunately it's closed. Uh, today is Sunday, so it may just be that, but I was here a couple of years ago also, and it was a, a little bit run down, so perhaps it's closed permanently now. 
It's an old fort, so not surprising. We're just heading over to the Queen Elizabeth ship to uh, see what we can see. This is the de-embarking point for ships that are coming into Madeira. Yeah, beautiful place. We're just at the uh, design center right now. Fantastic vantage point and it's completely free to come up here. So this behind me is the Hotel District of Madeira. Uh, we'll be heading there a bit later in the week. Um, we're going to a place called Reed's Palace actually for afternoon tea.
So the beach behind me is pretty typical for Madeira. Uh, they can't really keep sand beaches. This is a volcanic island. So what the government has done is built about five pools that uh, the public can use around the island for a small fee. Uh, but they include uh, loungers and uh, towels and whatnot. And there's usually steps also to go into the sea if you want to have a swim there. So other than that, the beaches here are just rocky. There's a cruise ship that goes over to Porto Santo. Uh, you can cruise over there in the morning for about two and a half hours and then spend the entire day there and then come back around uh, supper time. Uh, so getting into the port back here in Madeira um, just after dark. Funchal's Town Square is a bustling hub of activity, lined with beautiful checkered cobblestones and bordered by grand whitewashed buildings. In addition to being a lovely civic centre, the square is an ideal starting point for visiting several attractions, including the Sacred Art Museum, City Hall and the former Jesuit College. Camara Municipal, built in the mid-18th century, this building originally served as a Count of Carnival's residence. On the west side of the square is the former Jesuit College and Church. The town square is located off the northwestern corner of the lively local market. Please like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to watch the rest of the Madeira episodes. And leave us comments. We'd love to chat.